Well, we were called at about 11.15 um, the other night for, a, it was kind of a strange deal the way it started out. They thought it was just a straight medical emergency where actually the CPAP blew up, but that wasn't the case at all. After the fire department got on scene, they said, no, send the sheriff's office, and we responded that there was a whole lot more to it than that. So after my people arrived, um, he was flown up to Harris downtown, I believe is where he's at, and um, he was a victim of gunshot wounds. Two gunshot wounds to himself and um, others that were fired too, but hit him twice, and so he's in pretty bad shape up at Harris downtown. Um, you guys have anybody in custody for this? We've got a person in custody, he's a juvenile, 14 years old, so um, it's still under investigation and um, a little complicated, but um, Ranger, Texas Ranger was down and helping us with the investigation. And after the call, he, he left before we got there and we had to go looking for him. And then in, uh, I think it was around five o'clock in the morning, he showed back up. He just came home on his own. So we uh, did interview him and um, he was put into juvenile detention. Um, about 10, 10.30 the next morning, yesterday, so um, crazy call and um, ridiculous reasons what I understand for why he did what he did, but he did it and um, he's got a lot to answer for now. Um, as our sheriff and, and seeing that this is a family domestic violence, how, how does that hit you? Well, it's, it's bad enough when somebody, when aggravated assault with a deadly weapon happens to an individual because somebody got mad or something like that. But in this case, it's uh, family violence. And, and it's, so that's, that's when it's really, really bad when a family member gets to that extreme to do something to another family member that they've known, I'm not sure all his life or just most his life. Uh, it's a, a little different deal with them, but they were raising the person, so. Um, what's the status now? Are you still under, still ongoing investigation? Yeah, it's a, definitely still an ongoing investigation. Uh, we really haven't been able to talk to the victim. Um, kind of got a little bit out of him the night before he left on the, air, the helicopter to go uh, to the hospital, but um, there's still a lot of questions to be answered. and. Um, so yeah, it's still under investigation.